It's hard to be vulnerable. It's hard to tell how you truly are feeling. It's hard to tell like, um, you know, if you're sad or you're angry or you're weird or you feel weird or you feel awkward, it's hard to say that. And, and like for someone like me, it's something I struggle with day to day. I'm, I'm sitting here, um, you know, advocate for mental health and, you know, it may look like I'm not doing okay. Um, I'll just be like, hey, I'm fine and when I'm not really fine. So it's still something that, um, that we all need to work on and it's something that we're, it's, it's, it's part of the stigma that we're trying to erase. Just growing up, uh, I had a great experience with my family. Ella loved being my big sister. We could just talk and laugh about anything. You know, we just talk about life and like, you know, she had this beautiful mind. She was not afraid to tell someone if she was sad. She wasn't afraid to tell someone if she was angry, if she was happy. Um, she would tell people how she truly felt when they asked. And, you know, she would tell them, hey, I'm like, I'm really sad. And it would push them away and it confused her because she's like, I'm being genuine, I'm being real. Um, you know, because like people take it as a burden if you tell them how you really feel and it's not happy or, or not, you know, excitement or something that's easy to talk about. So, um, you know, that did confuse Ella, but she didn't stop. You know, she was always going to be real with herself and be real with you. And it was a uh, just a beautiful part of who she was. No matter what, she, she was always loving, always forgiving, and always trying to make people better. I never imagined Ella would die by suicide. Um, I knew she struggled from anxiety. I knew she struggled from depression. I knew she struggled from a traumatic experience. But, uh, you know, she was a fighter um, her whole life, and she, and she just had this love to her that I thought would never die. Um, so, um, Um, <clears throat> um, uh, what I'm going to miss most about Ella, um, you know, I miss my best friend, um, <clears throat> someone you could talk to, uh, anytime and just, uh, know you're not being judged and, um, just know that, uh, you're safe and know that, um, everything's going to be good, uh. Ella, Ella was someone who I went to. Um, she always made me feel validated. Uh, she always, she always made me feel strong. Always made me whatever emotion I went to her with, she would embrace it and make it turn around how I felt and made it a positive out of it. <clears throat> um, you know, I miss her laugh. Um, um, I miss, uh, I miss her smile. I mean, and the missing part does not get easier, but um, you learn how to, <coughs> um, you learn how to, you learn how to, I learn how to live with her um, through each day. 